The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Let's tidy up this tangle of film by putting it on a reel. Here is a motion picture film. A thousand feet. Sixteen thousand separate photographs. Welcome everyone. everybody. I am Michael. I'm Emily. I'm Antonio. And we're your real debaters. We're where the art of cinema meets the power of debate. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, ladies and gentlemen, and you, listener. Uh, what do we have on the show today? Emily, what do we have on the show today? <laughs> uh, what we have on the show today is the culmination of my entire life experience into just the moment that I didn't know I was waiting for. We're doing movie quotes. <laughs> Thank God. Tony asked me, he goes like, how did you come up with this episode? And I was like, I saw an article and was like, we should talk about movie quotes. This is, I didn't even know that this is what I was training for, but like, shout out to my mom filling my brain with this nonsense. It's finally going to do something. It has me. a place. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly <laughs> yeah. what it, and like when, when we say movie quotes, if you've listened to the show, if this is your first time listener, we'll, we'll tune you in. We, what we do here on the show is we like to uh, deconstruct other people's curated lists and, and weigh them against what we think here on the show for two reasons. One, it's fun to bring in other people, but two, I'm a lazy bastard. So it's just easy to pull a list <laughs> and then, you know, low rent for homework, right? Like it's easy. It's done. Someone else did the work. So, um, so what we're going to do today is we've got an article from Collider, uh, dated, when is this fucker dated, uh, five days ago published. So it's, it's relatively recent and it's the 10 most quotable screenplays of the 21st century, which is the article that inspired all of this. And I didn't even tell Emily what the episode was till like two days ago. And I was like, movie quotes, you cool. And then excellent. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. At perfection. And then I hit you like Friday night when we were out and I was like, what are you doing? And I'm like, movie quotes. And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, this is, this is the universal language. It is. That I think we're going to go down today. Bucket list complete. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've put together the right, the right crew here. Uh, so we're going to, we're going to talk about that list and then we're going to go down somebody's IMDB list of the most quotable movies and things we can talk about. And, and, and we're going to ask the questions like what's our favorite what's our most memorable and at the end of this episode we're going to tell you there's a voicemail that you can leave all your answers on at any given time if you feel like doing that it's at the link in the show notes go hit it leave your ideas we'd love to hear your quote done in the impression of that oh person. my goodness if you really want to break it that's you, really now stretching it for you know? what you want yeah <laughs> I'll, i won't be doing any impressions today really? but no impressions aren't my thing but if you want like word for word quotes from Movies of all types. You want the tood in the quote? Oh you yeah, can do yeah. It. I can do the tood. I can Ooh. I can do my best approximation, but but I'm not a I'm not an impressionist. Well, then Tony, it's up to you to pick up slack. I, I I expect a Broadway performance here this evening. <laughs> we will do our best. Okay, listeners. get in the character. Get in the character. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> all one hundred of them. Yeah, all. <laughs> so uh, first all and foremost, questions. before we get into it, awesome. we just want to talk about us for a second here. So we got something coming up, April twenty third. Uh, we're doing uh, movie trivia from the handsome daughter. We have done some movie bingo nights there in the past, <laughs> listener. If you've been to them, you know we don't know how to bingo well. So we do know how to trivia though. We so do trivia better than anybody i think we I, I i'm very fine with that sentence and we're gonna do it there we're gonna do four rounds uh this is one we've done before we've tweaked it a little bit we've added oh, some nice. stuff uh we're gonna do four rounds general movie trivia to get everybody warmed up right at stroke seven and then we're gonna break into the 90s Ooh. so if your age is something around that area of your 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 cinema knowledge exists in the 90s this one's for you then we're gonna do uh some steven spielberg uh, this is not your Empire of the Sun, Steven Spielberg. This is more of your Hook, E.T., Steven Spielberg. Maybe okay. some Ready Player One in there. Definitely, we're going to need a bigger boat with that one. Speaking of movie quotes, <laughs> there it is. That's how it starts. And uh, the last round, we've added Harry Potter. So for all you muggles oh. out there, there's going to be a whole round dedicated to Harry Potter. And uh, it's five bucks. Tickets are on sale right now. Uh, you can get them on Eventbrite or in the show notes. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. They're a lot of fun. And... Little little brown chuck, sorry. Handsome daughter. We've been doing it too many places, so now it's all yeah. muddled what, what together. You're we're just too popular. Yeah, that's, really. that's not that's what, what I'm what's saying. Happened. But, but like <laughs> at, at the handsome daughter, they've changed from chicken to hot dogs. They're doing gourmet hot dogs. You can get a Nathan's hot dog, a steamed bun. They've got like a Japanese dog. They've got a they've got this one that I like, which is like caramelized onions and 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 cream cheese and and it's. Delicious. Do okay. they Absolutely have delicious. veggie dogs? They have veggie dogs. Nice. They have veggie dogs. And like you can get like a dog, a beer, and some old Dutch chips for like 10 bucks, I think. 
What a steal. Right? Like, <laughs> so if you're into hot dogs and trivia, April 23rd, 7 p.m., buy your tickets now. Uh, this is our first time there, so we have no idea. We could be doing it in front of 12 of you, and you're definitely going to win a prize. <laughs> or we could be doing it in front of 70, and it's going to be a lot harder. It's Those not numbers our first are... time there. We've done events with the hands of We Donna have before. done events there yeah. before, yeah. We're just, the, you know, we're we're engaging a different area of the city, oh, right. and uh, we're we're new to these people, and we want to we be really good friends with the West Broadway area. So come on down, April 23rd, 7 p.m. I think that's about it. So without further ado... Uh, let's talk about what we came here to talk about. Mopes. Eeny, meeny, miny. Tony's been the longest since you've been here. <laughs> you go first. What did you watch this week? Ah, oh, crap. Put me on the spot. No, uh, the biggest thing uh, I binged was the was Ripley off Netflix. Ripley. Tell oh. us about it. I saw it. I don't know anything about it. Oh, you, you didn't watch it? No. Okay. Uh, for those of you who have Netflix, uh, Ripley, of course, is... The take on, for most of you who would have known, uh, the towns of Mr. Ripley in the 90s with Matt Damon, which Ooh, was actually, um, you know, a cinematic off of a book. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this version, which was done, I think, in many ways better than the Matt Damon version, was totally filmed in black and white. So it really made, you know, things very opaque in how Ripley viewed the world. There... The Netflix did a horrible job of presenting Promoting this. It. Because yeah. none of this is in the little box. No. Even a word of related to the Ripley universe would have sucked me in. Yeah, and I, I think I think Netflix, maybe as most streaming services, are getting trapped that after COVID, um, we're no longer trapped in our homes. And therefore, if you oh. want us to be brought into your streaming services, you actually do a better job of you have to elevate. yeah to promote it as opposed to just a you know an upcoming message inside the Netflix system itself. Who's in it? I love who's in it. I, I remember him from Fleabag. Uh, I, I want to say Adam Scott, but I, I'm uh, it's not. You keep talking. I'll pull Andrew it up. Scott is. Andrew Andrew, yeah, that's it. You played the priest in Fleabag. Correct. And uh, Dakota Fanning is also in it. Oh, uh, really? Who does a decent Dakota version. Dakota Fanning's back? She is. And she, I don't know if she's been really gone away. She's been doing a few, few series here and there. I just remember she her did being a, like... A time, a, time, a time piece. She did a, piece, a, piece, a time period piece recently. Really? Ooh, I remember as a little kid it. from Uptown Girl. You know, oh, the, yeah, where yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. fundamentals are the building blocks of fun. Movie quote. Movie quote. <laughs> oh, yeah, movie quote. Yeah. Seriously. There it is. <laughs> Your first memory of her is an uptown girl. Yeah, I know. Uptown Interesting. Girls. I loved that movie. Oh. No. Uh, <laughs> did you happen to catch uh, Ripley? Emily? I haven't seen it, no, okay. but I love, I didn't even know it was a thing, honestly. So yeah. there you go, back to the point about them not doing very good advertising. But yeah, a talented, grifter. A grifter named sorry, grif mm. a grifter named Ripley, living in New York during the 1960s, yep. is hired by a wealthy man to begin a complex life of deceit, fraud, and murder. I mean, okay, that is the synopsis of the town. <laughs> yeah, Ripley. well, in Talented Mr. But Ripley's one of my. We've talked about it we've before. Yes. It before. When we talked about Saltburn, how I felt Saltburn oh. had like the Talented Mr. Ripley yes. vibe. Yeah. Because I love Talented. Like, what mm -hmm. a weird movie. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Yeah. Stevens Alien is the director. Black and white. How is that? Is that? See, so I can't get Shauna to watch black and white. It just takes her right out. You know what? It actually adds a great element. It keeps you in that 1960s kind of vibe. It's it, noirish. It's very noirish in many ways. It's a very slow, slow burn. Uh, I think eight episodes, almost running like they're each the chapter of the book. And so there are moments where they're just panning him walking in the rain and his reflection in the water and stuff like that. There's beautiful cinematic moments. Of course, all of Italy is being portrayed from Naples to Sicily to Venice, and they're beautifully captured and so forth. There's the hook. Now I see why you pulled into this. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's great that part. Uh, you know, some might compare uh, to the Matt Damon, which, you know, this was over eight so you've got to stretch this out it's not a two hour to build this all up yeah um they kind of downplay the homoeroticism per se okay. between the characters just a little bit it's it's mentioned it's brought up it's a factor in some things did you read the book i did read the book okay I so, that was gonna, oh. should i read yeah. it should, that was gonna be my next question should i, I would that? actually recommend yeah. to people to read it because like you said like with salt burn and a lot of those movies there's there's elements and references across the board so if you're a great fan of cinema you know, the talented Mr. Ripley yeah, yeah. and its capacity or its what it's trying to narrate or tell is pulled into other forms or other genres or other um, movies. So it's a good reference point. Nice. And I, so is it going to stay as a miniseries? Like it's one and done kind of thing? Yeah. Where I can mean, I go? 
But, well, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't know. I mean, he, he technically, not to spoil it for people, but uh, you get the impression he gets away with it in the end, but or he doesn't. Um, and so it, it, that's done really well. But I don't know if there's, they're going to hopefully ever come back with part two and find out. Yeah. Or he keeps on going. I think it just keep it in. He didn't box. die. Yep. <laughs> so that is what I binged this weekend. That Sweet. was me. Any Sounds any amazing. movies in this uh, world of yours? Or are we just because like I'm watching a ton of TV. I've built my movie list, but yeah, like I'm trying to think where I watched. You all... asked me Friday night the last good yes. movie I watched, and yes. I told you it was Bone Tomahawk, which is on that list. I know, and we we laughed. But like, what was the last good movie you watched? Well, the last uh, movie that I went out and saw was <laughs> Dune. I still haven't so, seen that. Neither have I. I think we need I know. to. Okay, we might need to go together. Yeah, I think we might. Seriously, yeah. how are you two? I know. I I've been waiting for like. Well, everyone's got I've been calling it the dune boner like everybody's got it right yeah. they're so excited about it so I'm just kind of waiting for it to die down so that I can go to if I go to the theater I'm not going to be like squished in with between like dune 700 boners. other people yeah. yeah with dune boners everywhere and so I, I like I I actually don't really call like... that a sandworm dune <laughs> yeah, yeah with, like, exactly <laughs> I, we've gone through this before too I don't really like going to the theater which is like very strange oh, for yeah. a cinephile but I like to be at home in my jammies okay so I can pause and pee and, you know, whatever. Like, the drinks are cheap and stuff like that. So <laughs> when I do... You're getting charged in your own home. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm> home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every, time Dan, every time Dan brings me one, I have to pay, pay him, him a couple dollars. Yeah. Um, but it's... Uh, it's so I do. I will go probably in theaters because of the yeah. spectacle, but I I need it to be a little less claustrophobic. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I would. I mean, I recommend it. Like it, for those of you, like we had people who went and saw. They were like they read all the books. They were the fanatics from the eighties on all of it and comparing. And there were people who had never, like myself, had ever read the books, but familiar just through conversations. Yeah. It is beautiful on the very large screen. So you do have that to look forward to. That overimposing full scope of the worlds and all of that and then these giant sandworms that they're riding across i've heard of these things uh the sahara they make desert. popcorn buckets out of them don't they, they? Do, they do actually which was at not all the theaters though no only amc in america had that yeah. you know i didn't have anything to fuck that weekend either i was upset <laughs> <laughs> it's probably for the best. <laughs> I feel I'd still be trapped in it if, yeah. that's, if that had been and the case. And we never saw him again. Yeah. Where's, where is he? <laughs> He's dealing with something. So is it is it hype? Like all the hype? Was it left up to it? I, you know what? It was enjoyable to watch. Uh, there are moments for me that you had to like really focus because they're just saying names and characters and all of that and you're trying to keep it all together and then if you hadn't rewatched a bit of one just to pick yourself up to sure, where this yeah. was um, and there's a lot of that behind who's running whom and who's pulling the strings on what I'm not gonna lie I didn't necessarily buy the full transformation of the Mr. Chalamet's character Paul who Trades. is yeah who is basically like no I don't want to lead you no I'm not your messiah and then all of a sudden storming into the great hall and going <laughs> never mind I'm a messiah I'm correct a messiah. yeah fair enough everyone follow me and you're just like uh that that was a quick change <laughs> just because you drank some you know sandworm urine and all of a sudden went that's all it takes that all it apparently takes it's like the GNC of the planet <laughs> it basically is yes <laughs> it's the creatine of of the fremen <laughs> pre-workout let's pre go i'm not gonna lie pre sandworm yeah. it's the mountain dew of space but like, like that in an, like i mean um let's talk about like blade runner 2049 yes. good story right yes. um what was the alien one alive no not alive um with jeremy renner the one he did where they get on the alien ship arrival oh arrival okay arrival super beautiful right like he, he oh, but good story I feel Dune is not his, like, he's not a writer-director, mm. but he is a director that can extrapolate a lot more, and I think he's bound by so much in this, mm. because it is a previous copy of a novel that, like, sure. everybody and their fucking dog is, yeah, and, has and consumed. Yeah, and that, like, is a def defining part of uh, sci science fiction, like, growth, right? Like, yeah. One of the, one yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, yeah, I can totally see being, wanting to be really like yeah. close to the book careful and careful with the story oh, yeah. well, yeah. but to your point like the the well there were tons of dune boners all around us and you could just <laughs> hear them like that's from book this and that's yeah. like you're having to condense multiple books into these moments yeah. here and then everyone's upset that this wasn't yeah. fully fleshed well, I wasn't out given exactly what i wanted when yeah. i read the interpretation off the page fuck grow up <laughs> exactly <laughs> i want to like i want to agree but that's like me watching harry potter i'm like this movie See? makes no sense this is not how I remember it. The books, the books are way better. I actually was that was in the back of my mind. I'm glad you said it. I'm sure there's a lot of Harry Potter's that's going to come out to your uh, sure, trivia yeah, night yeah. where they're just like, no. is it book trivia or movie trivia? 
It's mm. we're a movie podcast. <laughs> there you go. If you ask me for book trivia, I'm gonna give you your money back. <laughs> then you have to make sure that I'm there. I'll give That's you the, movie the trivia at the library, kids. This is the trivia <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> um, I haven't been able to see it just because of fucking spring break. Oh, like that really threw. I wasn't planning on spring yeah. break. At all because a I have no children yes and a b I have less than no children so like it doesn't register until it happens and I'm like oh my god all of my plans got shifted by a week but yeah. I didn't buy tickets for Dune to begin with yeah so why every- do you have to shift your plans for spring break without children because every time I tried to go see the movie I couldn't oh, get tickets because, because every- the children every- are because out. the children are the out, infestation right? yeah. of the, children yeah and it's like yes. and those movies so Godzilla Ghostbusters and Dune oh my god are I all see Ghostbusters too. Older nerds taking younger ch- child nerds. Like, nerds to the movie. They're yeah. children, not just random children nerds. But like, <laughs> you don't know the, that. Well, I, hey, listen, <laughs> I, the world I live in, they're related. Um, but like, when they go, when they go to the movie, they go on mass for those. So like, getting a single seat was even impossible. Like. Right. I'm at the point where I'm like, could I see Dune at home? But then I'm like, don't let that happen. No, you want to see like this it, on the big it, screen. You, you do. You need to go into it. And yeah. I, I want to see him stand on the worm. Jammies yeah. and pee breaks. I'm just saying. I did that big yesterday at Godzilla. I wanted my jammies, but I didn't have a pee break. Right, because you're in the theater. And I peed myself. Smart. That's the only way. Mark was mad. <laughs> but he's a cop. Okay, I'm. I'm. I <laughs> like anybody in this room. I almost trust implicitly with being like you need to see it you need to yeah. see it and every time i see it i'm like okay you were right yeah so i'll make sure i do that this week hey are you free this week uh <laughs> you got some time i'm free next you week three hours i'm free next week <laughs> it's gonna be in the theaters probably until summertime and it you know what if that movie that, that movie's making theaters money now it's it, past it, the first yeah. month it's all money for the you theater. know what dan's out of town next week and i don't have the girls so okay. i i'm ready i'm down for a movie date for sure yeah all right i think i think three hours shall be put aside for more throat singing is there throat singing in this one too oh. i really like that sound in the first one it really changed the, the i can't recall the throat singing now now i'm gonna i'm gonna have to wait for you to get back and it's a huge it. selling feature if there's it's no throat be, singing it's, it's i'm not going <laughs> it's, it's, it's the soundtrack to your life now yes it is oh okay yes, good my, to know my meditation music. i will say this zendaya is uh really what sells the movie she's, she rocks she's, it more she's than a rain, fantastic right? action well, a little bit more so than the capabilities of mr chalamet i felt there was more depth of character to her uh so once you know even if you're just a f- big fan of hers go out there to see her i feel well, like the dune is the new um mummy in the way that like when I, <laughs> when I was a kid and it was like you're starting to question your sexuality because you watch the mummy and you're like everybody's super hot in it and you're just like is it is it brennan fraser is, is it, it rachel, Ra- Weiss? rachel Ra- Ra- raquel weiss yeah and then it's like uh, is it this guy who plays this like half naked like mummy man and now it's the same thing with dune where you're like is it zendaya is it timothy chalamet is it both i, I feel like you have to have a whole <laughs> podcast just to crack that the, the cast of the mummy I'm, oh yeah that's like my whole <laughs> Like your homosexual identity. <laughs> I, had a, I had a mummy boner for Brendan. I'm not gonna lie. How could you not? Yeah. Yeah. Like M U M M Y, not M O M M Y. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw George playing of, on the Dune boner thing. I saw George of the Jungle. So. Oh yeah. So the, we've it all kind, had the that boner went away really quickly. No, Brendan Fraser was super hot in George of the Jungle too. Yep. He was. <laughs> he, then he spoke. Yes. Bless well, hop a dum. He's like muting the movie. <laughs> um, how many 1930s jazz clubs out of 10 do you give Ripley? Ooh, out of 10. Uh, I, you know what? Um, I'm going to give it, like I said, uh, an eight. Yeah. It, it is a slow burn, and you really have to give up some time to it. Uh, there's some great performances, particularly by uh, Mr. Scott. It's beautiful cinematography, beautiful shots, some great, if you need to film noir, there's a lot of throwbacks for that. And uh, just watching how he tries to get away with it, you know, based on the book, really good. But not all the performances are fantastic, and it's it, they stretched it to eight. Once again, it's one of those things where you're like, did you need Could all eight six. chapters? Could you have built it down? But And how many good. Dune boners out of ten? <laughs> for the, well, like a... You know, as a person who never read the books, it, it's sheerly out of 10. I gave it, uh, you know, a seven just because it was b- visually beautiful to watch. I think they did a great job to try to tell the story. Like the people beside me who were like, this was from book 29. I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it not? But uh, so it was good. I would. Yeah. 
I'd really recommend it. But you go see it through the visual. Just like Avatar, you need to see that thing on the big screen. Yeah, it, these are built with cameras, four screens yeah. of this size, for this sound, for this scene. You got to go. Like, yeah. y- you can watch. There's no, no one's saying you can't watch this shit at home. But, like, there are maybe five movies a year where you're like, the theater just amplifies the scenario. Yeah. Right? Like, I could have seen Godzilla at home. Wouldn't have made no difference. But, like, it was fun watching the suplexes happen in, like, a giant screen. Right. <laughs> the last one I saw in theaters was Top Gun. And that you, but, that was but like, you get it. Everyone said you have, have to, to see it. Like, yeah. Have to see it. But, like, that was built in Cockpit. Oh, yeah. So, getting that point of view, right? Like, it's, well, it's like Oppenheimer. Yeah. Oppenheimer, I think. Watching that at home is not going to be the same as watching it once it was on the big oh, screen. So I and saw, I saw Barbie that ex- in theaters. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of Oppenheimer, I have seen something more recently. I saw the sequel to Barbie, or is the sequel to Barbie, which was Oppenheimer. The sequel to Oppenheimer. <laughs> which was Barbie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Emily, what'd you watch? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, in keeping with my usual vibe, which is rewatching things that I love to just manage my anxiety to some tolerable level, Got I it. have been rewatching Parks and Rec. Yay. And uh, <laughs> Parks and Rec is just like Leslie Nope is just my, like, I don't know. I, I love her so much and I relate to her so much. Just like trying so hard to make everybody happy. And she works in politics <laughs> and she's just like this dedicated like public servant. And I just I, I relate with her on so many yeah. levels. And all the people around her are just absolutely hilarious. And uh, there's just not a bad m- moment a bad episode a bad season in that whole show like it's beginning to end just balls to the wall hilarious no, it is a whole di- that's dan Harmon, right <laughs> yeah i think it he is? parks and recreation Park, community no. he was community he was community yeah, yeah i don't it. actually I don't know, know who, who did... created it yeah neither do i but i mean parks... i somehow no matter what happens in my life i can be on a roll on t- on tiktok or youtube reels or whatever and as soon as i find uh, clips of Parks and Rec. It defaults to the. Have you ever seen the the outtake of the comeback? Oh, it is. It's written by Amy Poehler. Like yeah. That's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, so it's created. It's probably created. And Nick yeah. Offerman. All right, but like. Oh, Dan Gore. That's why. Dan Gore. Ooh. Dan Gore. Look, give me yeah. your phone for a second. Okay. Let me see if it casts this too. Um, <laughs> but like when um, Jesus Christ, when Pratt. Yeah, is uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah, Thank you. Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. Uh, Super Mario, Garfield, whatever Pratt you want. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, Andy, Andy and, Dwyer, yeah, right? Andy, yeah, Andy yeah. Dwyer. But when 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 Leslie and Rashida Jones's character and uh, Perkins and Perkins <laughs> are talking about how everybody loves a comeback, hmm. and she starts naming off different racehorses, and then. Pratt raises his hand and he was like, oh, I think Kim Kardashian likes come back too. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? He was like, well, in that video, there was come all over her back. I don't think that. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. That's not the comeback we're talking about. <laughs> but that line 100% improvised. And then every, like Offerman falls out of the chair <laughs> and like ballistically loses himself on the floor. No matter what happens. No matter what happens when I'm scrolling, that's the only clip I ever see of Parks and Rec. There was, <laughs> that's my point. Like, I, it's the only clip I know. I know it well. I can't find know, another fucking video. clip. Yeah. But like, yeah, you know, from the video. Everyone from looks, the video. Yeah. I um, think that's what you... Apparently, yeah. there's there's an interview with a, one of the writers, and he was like, the funniest line in this whole show was improvised by Chris Pratt, and it makes me so oh, mad yes, every day. I saw this one, too. And, like, Leslie's sick, and she's saying, like, I have a, a fever, and I have a cough, or whatever, and he's on the computer. He's like, Leslie... I'm looking up your symptoms, and you I think you have something called connectivity issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm typing it in this little bar here, and it says you've got connectivity, connectivity issues. issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, I don't it's know. Like, as a writer, I hate you, but at the same time, like, yeah. that's brilliant. Yeah. It, it's, really, it's, it's really quite fun, um, and I, it's really enjoyable. I think it's more... Like, I mean, it is The Office. Like, everybody wanted to be The Office after The mm-hmm. Office. And what little I know about it, though, there's there's something joyful about Parks and Rec that The Office never had. Yes. The Office is a little bit, like, darker and cringier. Like, not that it's dark, and but it's cringy. It's mean. Right? It is kind of mean. Whereas Parks and Rec is just lighthearted fun. Are you watching then Abbott Elementary, then? Because it's on that similar vibe of that. I haven't seen that. No. So yeah, because it is know, killing nice. it. Apparently, yeah, everyone loves Abbott. It's okay, yeah. Abbott Elementary. Yeah, because right. it's in that same. It's te- teachers and in, instead of government facilities. Government yeah. employees. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I. I mean, I. I started watching some Big Bang and some Friends recently, oh, just yeah. for just for good vibes. But like, I. I totally know what you're getting at. Where like, in the background, you hear two people having a conversation. It feels less like a show and more 
mm. like two people having a conversation yeah. in the other room. And right? you know, and, and that, a conversation you know and you smile at. Cause yeah, because I know what they're about to say. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> perfect nice. fucking setup. I just finished Friends not that long ago. That was one of my more recent rewatches. And Big Bang right before Friends, actually. So. Nice. Ooh, I yeah. just sort of cycle through a whole bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, any uh, any films? Any yes. So this is um, courtesy of Dan. He they apparently Dan by proxy. Dan by proxy. Yeah, he decided that we were gonna watch this one, and it was just like for I don't know what triggered it in his brain, but he was like, we have to watch Highlander. The original. So, the original. Wow. Wow. And there so, can only be one. Exactly. Movie quote. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. And he didn't tell me anything about it, and I've never seen it. It came out before I was born, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like early and, 80s. Yeah, and I, I didn't know anything about it at all. And I was like, is it about Scottish people? Like, I, <laughs> I, I was like, Does he travel through time? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And I was like, is it like Outlander? Um, I love it's, those It's the books. prequel to Outlander. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> That's what he should have told you. <laughs> so we start watching it, and then I'm just, I keep like, I was like you know, predicting everything. I'm like, is this magic? Is there magic in this? <laughs> I was like, this is this is so cool. Anyway, so um, we watched that, and it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's very it. weird. Um, very weird. <laughs> it starts weird because it's fantasy in a New York parking lot. Like that's what's weird about it is that it's yeah. it's kind of like the sci-fi aspect of Terminator, mm -hmm. where like the future comes to current day, yep. and they're like stuck in a different timeline. That's this kind of where, it, and, if I'm not mistaken, like, I haven't seen it since I was. Oh a kid. my god! And I'm sorry, it's '86, not early. They're 80s. like it's the, po the 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 synopsis of the movie is that there are these, um, it, there are these immortal beings, okay, and. And they they exist all throughout time, and at one point there's going to be a, this, something called the gathering, and when the gathering happens, they're all going to be drawn to one place where they will fight to the death because there can only be one. That's where the quote comes from. And is that like the Dark Crystal? <laughs> <Kind of. laughs> it's rooted in like it's like Tolkien, but okay. with like current updates. It's super weird. Anyway, um, and the main takeaway from that movie is who the fuck thought that it would be a good idea to cast Sean Connery as a Spaniard. And, that, doesn't, and, that doesn't sit well. And also <laughs> not ask him to change his accent, accent at, at all. all. <laughs> yes. The weirdest shit in the world. Like they just give him like a red like jacket and like a fancy hat with a feather and they're like you're Spanish now. <laughs> And like that, some dark makeup. It's much the same way in the <laughs> Hunt for Red October where he was Russian yeah. and had a Scottish accent. Exactly. And I mean, <sighs> then I can also bring up Curran every day. Ridley Scott loves to make a movie about a French person with an English actor not speaking with a French accent. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it, it, there are people out there who, who make these decisions and they're fucking morons about it. Anyway, it was a super weird movie, but I enjoyed it it's a lot. One, it's, it's, it's in the heart of the 80s. I could totally see why... Like it has a, a cult ten, following. A ten-year-old Dan would have loved that movie. That makes perfect Aww. sense to me. Yeah, I <laughs> it, just it's not. I wasn't the target audience, but it was in, it was entertaining for sure. It's powerful, dude, with a big sword. Yeah, uh, and magic. And magic, right? Yeah. It's, so it's He-Man. It's it, it, it's it's adjacent. It's Conan. <laughs> it's it's He-Man. <laughs> yeah. It's it's whatever man you want that does those three things. <laughs> yep, car chases and sword uh, fights yeah. and and magic powers and guys yeah it, yeah i can't believe he made you watch that like that's not something... i can't believe you stay to yeah, the end like, I'm, <laughs> more because someone I'm... can turn it on but you're just like i mean is it gonna get better is it gonna get better it, it was you know what at all points it was i had i, I will say i had not a hot clue what was coming next right. so that was kind of entertaining is like i i was just like what is happening in this movie <laughs> So I was entertained. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Movie quote. <laughs> Movie quote. Uh, yeah, the, you know the remake's coming, right? That, like, I think that's actually, when I when yeah. I said it out loud, I yeah. think that's what made him yeah. think of it. Yeah. Uh, you know that's coming too? With Henry Cavill's going to be in <gasps> Highlander? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, he finally got a job. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. He getting... he got, man, did he ever get fucked? He got bent over the whole Twice. Barrel. Yeah. Like you lose Superman and you lose The Witcher yeah. all in the same month. Like, but then, Amazon, but, then you, but you got, got Argyle, so we got our. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's your that's your grass is greener. <laughs> well, for him it is. I, don't, I, I, I can gonna, pay rent. Well, I was gonna say that he, in his infinite nerddom, loves the game Warhammer. Oh, okay, forty k or four two k or something. Right. Yeah, he's like a big. He plays it all the time. He plays right? it all yeah. the time. Amazon was like, "Hey, we know you got a little, you got a little hurt over there over yeah. some some big name IPs. Would you like to come and make a Warhammer series for Amazon?" So he's EPing a new Warhammer series, okay, for Amazon, which will be like 
Lord of the Rings on steroids. Wow. Like the guys who play this buy like it's like it's like 60 bucks for like three characters. Oh, and and you got to airbrush sit there them. And paint them. They paint them and then they show up at like people's tables that are like 20 by 20 tables okay. with like castles on them and then they roll like it's 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 pieced out D&D kind of shit. Okay. My cats could never. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, like... they would just stomp through it. <laughs> right? Can you imagine a 22 Monster month attack. Like, like a 22 month game and then the cats walk right through it? Oh yeah. Just do like Lego the movie and just glue everything down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's exactly. laughs> Anyways, oh, okay, cool. So, um so Highlander, how many how many big swords? <laughs> big, <laughs> big Jesus How many swords. Big Jesus swords. Um, I'm gonna say five. Ooh. Five um inexplicable energy <laughs> explosions out of ten. <laughs> yeah, five inexplicable lightning scenes out of ten. Now you've seen it and <laughs> you can you can scratch that. I'm like... ready for the next one. Honestly, now I understand. I get I get where we're coming from and I'll watch the, the Henry Cavill one. That's a stamp in someone's cult card. Yeah. Sure. Right? Like you, you if if you wanted to show somebody your list of like I, I cult movie. Highlander, I feel, would be a definite. Heathers and Highlander. <laughs> there you go. Just say the, the H's. H's. I was going to say, those. The H's. One was meant for me and one was not. Yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> what I watched, because it was his birthday. <laughs> and one I watch every Sunday. Exactly. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I have I have a laundry list of, of shit that I've been watching because I haven't had anybody to talk about it with. Because Sean is like, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, uh-huh. And I'm like, I know you're not listening. Okay, uh, do you want Ghostbusters? Do you want Gogs- Gong- Did Godzilla? Did you see the new Ghostbusters? Oh, I want to know about that. Yeah, I want to know about that. Okay, I well, do. let me finish the list, and then you can make okay. your choices okay. here. Um, next, show. there we go. Okay, so I've got Thanksgiving, <gasps> the Eli Roth horror movie. I've Ooh. got Bad Grandpa that Shauna wanted to watch. Mm. That's Zach Efron and uh, yep. um, Robert De Niro. I got Ricky Stenicki. Oh Lord, you did not! I loved Ricky Stenicki. <laughs> okay. That's with uh, that's with, with Zach, Zach Efron. Efron again. I went wow, on the Zach Efron, Zac Efron yeah. binge. Yeah, I wanted. I was comparing chins. Is <laughs> yeah. what I was doing. Seeing how it morphed <laughs> yeah, over I was, time. I was watching. I was watching for something. Come on, he had a deviated septum or something. I, hey, if he <laughs> fell, maybe he just fell into a plastic surgeon's office. Yeah, I mean, we don't know where the it happens was. to the best of us. Right. right? <laughs> hey, I'm not. I'm not saying I wouldn't want a better something. I'm just saying, let's be honest about what we're, be- what we're better. I don't here. know if chin is the first thing we're augmenting on ourselves. So. <laughs> no. I I mean, fair enough. That's true. Actually, I do know, and it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I've got Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, and Godzilla. I'm. The... I'll do two. You can. Well, you can. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay. All right. Thanksgiving first. Uh, Jimmy told me to watch this, so I did. He yep. didn't really like it, but I like Eli Roth. Yeah. I like Green Inferno. Yeah. I like Hostel. Like yep. I, I, I like. I like gore porn. I'm not going to deny it. I'm a I'm a big fan of gore porn, and I just like how it shocks people. I don't really. It's not me getting one step closer to my Dahmer, but like you know, <laughs> like thank goodness everyone top calling the cops. We're yeah, fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll get out of this basement There's alive. No today, oil probably. drums in this basement right now. <laughs> but uh, so I like those. I like those a lot because both of them feel like they could like hostile. Yeah, getting trapped in some oh, Eastern yeah. European country. But with Thanksgiving, I liked that. He was using some themes inside of uh, a, a slasher. Ooh. I like that he was using greed. Okay, yeah. As part, of, basically to set you up here, Thanksgiving is uh, a small town. There is like a Walmart esque chain store there, and it's Black Friday. And on that Black Friday, there's not enough security. Things go wrong. People are just being cheap. They want to make as much money as possible. This is a rich, affluent family from this town. And then the lesser people in the town, the commoners, work in the store. Anyways. A bunch of murders happen on that Black Friday. Dun, like people dun, get dun. stomped, they're stabbing. Like things just go awry, right? Well, that spirit, if I'm not mistaken, Tony, uh, essentially comes back in a form of a killer, and that there's a killer who then reenacts those killings the following year. Oh, heck it's the yeah. anniversary that of. That sounds excellent. It's it's a great slasher movie. There's some really good bloody sequences yeah. in it. It just kind of started to fall short a. About twelve minutes in, when I went, I know who the killer is. So did I. That's like, oh, uh, that I is my uh, only. I like, could tell. Yeah, I was like, I will, I will ride this out. Yeah, I will go the distance, but I know who it is. And I looked over at Sean, and Sean was like, "Me too." Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, That's but like, bummer. but like, fun, right?" Yeah. And and definitely in the veins of like the '80s slasher and the, and the haunting image in behind. Yeah, and, but in a, in a, in in a, in a small first, it takes place like all the the calamity takes place. 
That's a real fun scene. Like watching them like storm the doors and they're all going after fucking TVs. And mm-hmm. then like one woman gets her hair caught in a wheel. Wheelchair. A it was in a, a wheelchair. Wheel- no, it's in a pushing cart. Pushing cart. Ah. Yeah. And then it like scalps her because someone just keeps pulling the the oh the, the cart yeah. further down. Like they do a real and it's like it's happening all at once. Yeah. That's crazy. It so they're like, ingenious ways of killing the people, both in the death scene, in both in the death scene uh, at the store, and then later in the stocking scenes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, though, I'll have to say not to give it away to anybody, is the garbage bin. <laughs> because I will say this, outside of Hostel, where there's not many uh, light moments there. Uh, no, once you're in, you're in. Yeah. This was, there was a lot of levity in this one. Oh, which, it okay. felt like yeah. Krampus to me. Correct. Ah. And it could also go down as a new holiday film. Correct. Too. Like you, like everyone focuses on the Christmas movie, the Christmas horror. He's like, I'm going to take a stab, literally, at at. Like the thing- pilgrim horror and Thanksgiving yeah. horror and, and the one holiday America. that we haven't tried killing you on exactly <laughs> yeah now n- now you'll always remember it so I mean I, I, I like a five and a half six that out of ten super out of ten fun. I'm gonna check that out yeah yeah it's a five it was a good one to five re- Black Friday sales out of ten correct <laughs> five super discounted television yeah <laughs> I'm, I like I love a good slasher yeah I love them so horror totally my jam love a good slasher like he just you can trust him yeah. He even if it's bad, it's still good because it's 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 in the B movie yes. genre what? with a budget, right? So you're you're like you're in good hands, right? If you want to get scared, if you want to jump, uh, eat some turkey and watch Thanksgiving. Speaking of just B horror, that I yeah, just yeah, saw yeah. this. Did you guys see that they're making a new uh, Leprechaun? Like they're remaking Leprechaun. Are they bringing back Jennifer Aniston? Uh, no, I don't. Because that's so, what but made that, that, would that be performance. Really cool. That, that Oscar-winning oh, performance. Oh, my God. So no, but I, I just saw, I hope it was real, now that I'm saying it out loud. Maybe it was, I, I'm not emotionally prepared for April Fool's Day any year. Maybe it was an April Fool's <laughs> trick. I'm way too. I'm, no, that doesn't seem like an April Fool's trick because actually me and Jimmy talked about this a couple episodes ago. And I believe that it's in development. It's not like shooting, but they're trying to develop I, a new there like leprechaun. five Leprechaun movies? I think there's 42. Oh, there's lots. There's Leprechaun, there's Leprechaun 2, there's Leprechaun 3 in space. There's Leprechaun 4 in the hood. So, and like Leprechaun 5 back to the hood, I think. What more to this story can we glean? Like what, what has not been covered <laughs> since he's already gone to space? I'll tell you right now. Okay. Leprechaun. Back to the gold, me hearties. <laughs> we go back to Ireland, where it all started. Oh, would that be cool? With Highlander. With Highlander, yeah. With Highlander. Scotland. It's a fucking genre blending crossover. <laughs> Christopher Lambert and the new Leprechaun. Imagine. And Sean Connery. Right? Can you <laughs> yeah. imagine the campaign in the theaters for Sean that? Sean Connery in some kind of ethnically <laughs> ambiguous, role. inappropriate role. <laughs> yeah. He's You're still like... Spanish in this one. <laughs> You're going to be Latina. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you do that, Sean? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> One Latino only, please. Okay, and then uh, you want a Ghostbusters. Yes, right? heck yeah. Right. So Ghostbusters. Okay, so I said it about the first one. I'll say it about this one. Uh, it is it is the definition of a requel. Ooh. Right, okay. Now, yeah. you'd think that using the first Ghostbusters, the holy Ghostbusters, the never cross the streams Ghostbusters, Movie quote. Movie quote. Fucking people. Um, <laughs> we're on you. We're, we're, we're you're with me here. Okay. With you. Um, you, this man has no dick, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> had to. But uh, when the trap is green, <laughs> no, when the when the light when is green, green, the trap, trap is, is clean. clean. And they do use that in the movie, too. Oh, nice. So the first one, um, the, the one they did, Afterlife, is a very, it's what they did with Force Awakens, mm. right? Where you don't step far outside of the story. So the same story happens all over again. It just happens with new people. Yeah. Okay. So there is the requel part of it, right? But the sequel aspect is it's new stuff. Okay. Right? So it's a new family. Yes. So there's your there's your there's your sequel stuff, but your requel stuff is we still have the old guys, right? We don't stray too far away from that. Star Wars, right? No matter what, we had to have Han and Leia back, but then we can get rid of them after because that we just need them to reboot. We just yeah, needed to bridge the gap. We, we yeah. gotta get everybody back in the seats so that we can let them die, and then you can George R. R. Martin this shit, and, and then Harrison Ford is like, "I am done." Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. You can kill me. me now. Kill me now. Ben, do it now, <laughs> with my contract. No, but like so, that's what Frozen Empire is. Okay. Frozen Empire is two. If you remember Ghostbusters two, yes. Mm-hmm. If you remember running through New York yep. with ectoplasm and a bouncing toaster and all that stuff that's this 
But the sequel part is they chose to do it with an episode from the cartoon. Oh. So there's actually two episodes and strong moments from both episodes. So the, the cartoon episode of When the City Freezes is the premise of the movie. But then they also have it where they're bridging. Like, Do you remember when that giant beam went into the sky yeah. in the first one? Yeah. Yep. That beam is huge in this story. Okay. okay. So like it's it. a sequel, but with new characters again, right. right? So it's you get your nostalgia bombs, and it's fun, but you're just like, I've seen this before. Yeah. This, this And this is... For me, I'm like, this is too familiar. But for anybody who just wants to take their kids and go have a good time and they've never seen it before, it's a great movie. So, like, I had a hard time not being like, hey, I see what you're doing there. This is why you have my money. Versus, like, just enjoying a movie yeah. and, and having a good time. But, like, the ghosts are... Oh, there's a lot more ghosts in this one. Okay. Um, there's ghosts. Like, do you remember when they first go to the library in the first you're one? You were saying this. Yeah, yeah. And they, like, try to trap the librarian. Well, they didn't have traps when they did that. That was them being junior Ghostbusters. Yeah. Well, you never see them trap her, do you? <laughs> Ooh. So they have to go back to the same library in this do one. Do the same thing. And, and she's l- still there? And Ray's walking down the aisle, <laughs> and then he looks over, and she's like, shh. <laughs> so it's stuff like that yeah. where you're like, okay, this is what I came for. Thank sure. you for doing this. But it doesn't stray too far from that with a new story, right? Do you think it added in any capacity to the Ghostbuster universe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get a third one. It, okay. The whole thing's about McKenna. I think it's McKenna Grace. It's about her okay. finding herself. Um, there's a really there's a really cool storyline with her and a female ghost that she becomes friends with. That nice. I don't want to really ruin. But um, all in all, like if you go because you're a fan of the first one, you will be given everything you want. Okay. If you're going because you're young or this is something that you want to experience for the first time and you were living under a rock during the mid-'80s, then you will enjoy a lot of it, right? But as for me, I was I was torn. I was between like the gatekeeper and the key master. Like I and we even have a fire master in this one, played by Camille Nanjiani. <laughs> right? Like these things that yeah. you're familiar with are there. Slimer has wrinkles. <laughs> like, <laughs> they like aged him st- again. He's still living in the fire <laughs> hall, man. Like there's so many things that you like you never ask questions about. Sure. But you're like, oh, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Except that Ernie Hudson, Winston Zedmore. Somehow, in the meantime, took a Ghostbuster salary and flipped it into being a billionaire philanthropist like 15 fucking years later. He's got toys. He's got money. He's got swagger. And I have to say, for a man who's 78 years old, oh. Ernie Hudson makes me hard. Like, it is. A, <laughs> he is You've, so fucking he's got handsome. The Dune Boner, but like, no, it's, it is, for, it's, for the, it's the nut buster. The nut buster. <laughs> right? It's the I ain't afraid of this. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but like he is so he's 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 this like little charming light in, in throughout the movie. Like I liked it every time he was on scene. I can't wait to see it. I I loved the I loved the the re like the original of these this new one whatever that was called Afterlife Afterlife. Yeah, I yeah, loved yeah. it. I've seen it like so do times. I. And so I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm taking the kids to it. So there you go. They, did you like the uh, the one that had the all female cast? You know what I did. Um, I found it really funny. I think I I wish that they had differentiated like a little bit more Mm. like you know like done something i kind of wish what they'd done with that is like taken the opportunity to make an entirely different story more more so than what they did yeah um but it was really funny and i really enjoyed it and like they're beginning to end if it was standalone i think i would have really enjoyed it more i just i wanted them to do something more different with it it was it was really shrouded in all of the conversation that when the other guys didn't sign on that a lot of people were like, okay, this won't be the Ghostbusters I want to see. But oh. it was still funny. I'm I not. Really oh no, it. I I thought I thought Helmsworth. As Helmsworth the as like the, the, as the himbo. Yes, he was so great. That was like my first we my first real exposure to like the himbo character in a meaningful way, and I was like, I love this. this I great. loved seeing them all. Like it was, <laughs> it's fun. It's the universe I like. Like it's yeah. Ghostbusters. I'm not gonna be like fuck this shit because it's girls. But <laughs> it just when the other they they just got a it just had bad press. Yeah, yeah. It just really had bad shitty people. Reviewing the hell out of that thing, and yeah, then next well, thing it's because you know, you know. it's all like an all, all female movie. It's always you're fighting an uphill battle, right? Like the the Marvels got the same shit on them, and that movie was hilarious. I loved the Marvels. It was such a good movie. I don't understand how you can stand on that. Like it just like everything that we review here, I don't think we really ever truly tear apart, no. unless it's Anatomy of a Fall, which I fucking will shit on <gasps> if I ever see a copy of it. But like, I don't know. Do you remember when I when we talked about Moon Moonfall? I we tore that one you, apart. Well, I tore that one apart. 
but somehow still loved it. That one just had a huge plot hole with the whole physics, rever- the just fi- physics in they general. They ignored a lot of <laughs> rudimentary, and I'm not a physics person, but I'm like, I think you stepped on some things in this equation, and you're like, we don't need that. Then the next thing you know, everybody in the audience was like, we don't have physics degrees, but that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Like, even I know that this is impossible. But like, what I'm saying is, is, even if we do shit on something, we don't we don't get mean about it. Right? We don't, like, no. Ins- no. Like, you're not attacking it the, for who's in it yeah, per se. The collaboration didn't yeah. work. Yeah. It's no more near the craft services person's fault as it is the director's fault. It's just an accumulation of shit didn't go the right way. You get one chance. You get one day. You get one place, and you try to make it work. But like, really tearing apart the Marvels and Ghostbusters and any of that other stuff, I'm just like. Why Morbius? We tore apart Morbius. Everybody tore about Mo- tore tore about Morbius. Tore apart Morbius again, except we, for me. I liked it. That's true. I, I like mean, everything. I I mean uh, Highlander. Did I mean, you, I did. You yeah, really like I did. I, like I said, I was <laughs> gave it a five. I was entertained. That's the lowest I've ever rated anything on this show. Actually, Ooh, I know. We'll have to go back through the archives. I'm a big like I go nines and tens all the time. I'm like, it's just in case someone listens to this, I want them to know they did a good job. Five and a half Black Fridays out of ten for Thanksgiving. Yep. And seven. Did I give us? I think it was a. Th- How many ectoplasms are you giving? How many ecto- I was going to say uh, proton packs. Ah, uh, oh, nice. better. Okay. Seven proton packs out of ten. Okay. That's still pretty solid. Yeah. That's still solid, yeah. Seven sidecar proton pack shooting seats. Oh, oh, none of us one. have sold anything today. Like, none of us said this. No was so spectacular that we watched. So yeah. we're all in the... I'm trying to save those for like when... No, oh, not us. We're not. We're not spectacular well, recommendation no, I, I mean, people. I'm always no. like, I, like Sean is like, that's on your top 10. How big's your top 10? Your top 300? You know, like <laughs> I, 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 I keep, I don't have a true top 10 because I'm like, I like everything. So I'm like, I've actually been consciously trying to be like, no, how do I think of that? Yeah. Not just, I had a good fucking time. Yeah. You know, and then like, oh, this will total the 10. Like, mm-hmm. I think about it as... Like the mechanics, the things that yeah. make it all one. But yeah, m- most most days I love everything I watch. Yeah, Ooh, me in too. Some way. Like, there's no. Yeah. Uh, why would I watch? If I don't like it, I didn't like want to watch it. I turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, unless you walked into the theater, then you are there. Like, this is a movie because I'm I'm looking at you, Green Lantern. <laughs> one of the only movies in my entire life that I you walked. Oh, front row was there on a date and was like. Nope, Gotta and go. I love you, Ryan Reynolds, and uh, left you. You couldn't offer. get down with the race car scene. Could not get down with so much of it. I was <laughs> like, you, so you want my money back? Kind of. This is horrible. And I, like to your point, you're usually like, well, maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get yeah. better. And you put a lot of work into this, and this was one of the few films or even experiences of entertainment where I was like, nope, <laughs> tapping out. I'm out. Wow. Yeah. I didn't develop. A, a taste or a set of balls to be able to do that until I was a lot older. Like, I, I sat through garbage oh, as yeah. a kid, right? I walked out of some buddy cop movie one time. I can't remember what it was. It was so bad. Was it called Cop Out? Maybe. I don't actually remember. It was, was the only movie Kevin Smith fans do not talk about. Was it Mall Cop? <laughs> Paul Blart. No, it was before that. I would have been like 13 or something. Was four. it Serve and Protect? Oh. Robocop? I'll look it up. Turner and Hooch. I'll try to turn. K9. <laughs> We're just now going through top 10 <laughs> cop movies. While you look it up, uh, there's your weekly review, listener. Uh, go listen to Tony and Emily and myself and make your own opinions and then let us know about them. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you disagree or agree or you're completely indifferent and you've skipped this portion of the show and you're ready to talk <laughs> about movie quotes. <laughs> Which is uh, that time, listener. Let's open the floor. Floor is open. There we go. We're open. So, um,. As mentioned, I I like I did this all on a whim. This is just it, it. It really dawned on me after reading the article. Like I said this to you, Tony. I said with Aaron, me and him can get into a Forrest Gump role. Yeah, and be like, I love you, Jenna. And then he's like, We go get a lot of peas and carrots. And, and, and then I'm like, I'm sorry, I ruined your black pat potter. <laughs> and it just goes and goes and goes. And I am my happiest in that moment. Yeah. And and I think. That's kind of what sparked this, like messaging Aaron and then seeing this article. And I was like, what are the most memorable movie quotes? What makes a memorable movie quote? What's a good movie quote? What's a bad movie quote? Right. Like, Correct. is do we do we just not celebrate the bad ones? <laughs> like, because it's one of those things where there's no like bad movie quotes. Right. There's bad movies. There's bad directors. There's bad cinematography. But there's no bad movie quote. Right. It's just it's just bad like writing. 
but so it's not a quote because then it's like, well, you're not going to quote something that's just like bad writing. But right? some of the shit I'm about to quote is not good writing. No, but it's quotable writing. And the movie True. was Ride Along. Oh, yeah. With Kevin Hart. Kev- I was gonna, yeah. Oh. And Dwayne? Is, someone else. Is a, is a person bigger than Kevin Hart in it? Every, like, <laughs> that would be, if I, was in, if I was in that movie, I would be. Um, let's see. It was Kevin Hart and um, Ice Cube. Cube. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like average five, seven and a half. It has height. 17% on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> it did well. It did really well. Uh, not certified well, it got fresh. my money and I left. So there you go. <laughs> so we got a list. We got two lists. We got someone's personal list of movies they made that are incredibly quotable. And then we've got a list made by Collider of the 10 most quotable screenplays, which we're going to review first. But before we get into it, we're just going to warm up here. We're going to stretch. We're going to talk. Uh... I don't know either of you when it comes to this. Like okay. I'm, I'm still very cl- new to Emily, and I'm new to you, so it's not something that I have a shorthand with you. But like, do you guys? Are you like? I mean, I know you said you were built for this, Emily, but maybe we'll start with Tony. Yeah. Like, is this something that you do on the regular? Is this something you and Marcel do? Is this something that like quote movies? Yeah, but talk? like, how do you? How does it work in your weekend life? When we're just like, let's just play this game. Um, <laughs> no, I think like anyone, there are. Um, memorable movies that depending on your situation it may trigger a happy moment it might trigger a happy thought it may trigger a bad moment or a bad thought depending on what the movie was and you just utilize it i find with my friends simpsons quotes work their way a lot i'll more. be back when you're done talking about that's this. right we have an ongoing joke about mike <laughs> because he wasn't allowed to watch the simpsons the floor is yours. so we make we anytime we make simpsons references and quotes which is all the time we're like oh but mike won't get it and like mike's mom sorry mike's mom because she wouldn't <laughs> let him watch it so. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Like, so Simpsons quote. But now the irony is that Simpson is based on so much pop culture. What a lot of Simpsons? it, a lot of it is coming from movies, and a yeah. lot of it is movie I, quotes. So yeah. I know the big moments, the ones that. Sorry, like, like I know they're so amazing. It's the best, and it's it's a vernacular of our age group Correct. too. Like I know it is. It's it it really is a way that we communicate. I don't speak Matt Groening, <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, you should get on that. Yeah. It. I think you know what I think. It's so, not like, too late. That's that's where it started for you was the Simpsons show. Yeah, like I mean, I think every, I think a lot of people like. I, I, honestly, I think it shows more than its movies, because if movies movies may not hit and they hit later, but if a show is con- like you know I'm the Fonz, hey, right? Like you you catchphrase. There are a couple of movie quotes I'm sure everyone has that are in your back pocket. For me, like from the Help. He was kind, he was smart, <laughs> he was important. <laughs> there are moments even at work or in, in a meeting, and I'm just like, oh, don't say this. Do not say this. <laughs> that's what that's but fine. that's what's running in my head, like, like the I soundtrack. Will, I will TPS report you. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? It, you know? You know, many times, like, so when we're hanging out, I feel... the Monday. You complete Just a moment. Me. You complete me, yeah. <laughs> you complete... You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just feel that much. Uh, so yeah, there are moments those. I Wait, which you complete me? Are we talking about here? Well, uh, from Jerry Maguire. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, I was crossing over with "I just can't quit you" from <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> oh, those two got two mixed up in my head. Most romantic movies, uh, yeah. but no. <laughs> yeah. One of them, yeah. <laughs> Not gonna compare. To no, yeah, you complete me is is a huge one. Yeah, right. Not only like metaphorically speaking, but like, I mean, that's what. I mean, I, I think I've said that to a woman before. <laughs> not Shauna. Like, non-ironically? No, no. Like, were you, it's like a, trying to pick you up? And yeah. Uh, like then, thought, and that's why you're not dating anymore? Probably. Someone I'm just a that. man standing in front of a girl. <laughs> hoping that she I'm loves just, me. I'm just a woman standing in front of a man asking him never to say that to me again. <laughs> just like, uh. Standing in front of this man wondering why his entire life has been movie quotes and he thinks he's new. Why does he think he's so original? Like, with, uh. For both of you, are like, are you use movie quotes either just to be funny or most times do they come up when you're trying to be like sassy or give like an off like you know cut someone but you know you're like i'm just gonna make fun of you a little bit and i'm gonna use the this line to do it i feel like mine comes up because of just like a slight lack of filter so someone if someone will say <laughs> something and it'll trigger a memory from a movie uh. or show in my brain and i will just that it, it's like this series of events right they say that word or phrase and yes. then the response to that word or phrase is this movie quote because for whatever reason and it's like whether well, that's or not, what preempted the line in the movie yeah okay. that's what pre- so like, your that's, brain goes yeah your brain goes to that makes the connection and then when my brain does a thing my mouth does it too and 
So I, I think it's just as a it's like just when, a reflex. When someone yeah. here's an example, right? When someone feels cramped, I'm like, itty bitty living space. Yeah. Right? Yes. You know what Phenomenal I mean? Phenomenal cosmic powers. powers. Itty bitty living space. You know? Yeah. You get what you, you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Or fresh fish. Like you know. <laughs> right? You know though. You know by the yeah. intention in my voice that fresh fish is from the market in Aladdin. Yeah. Right? You know that. You 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 catch it, we kill it, right? Like <laughs> you know, like Absolutely. But like that shit. Or like, the other day, Dan was like, "That went. That just went right over your head." And I was like, "Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I'm like, catch it. Like, you know, like there was no need. To- Why is Gamora? Yeah, exactly. There was no need for me to say it. It's just that he said it, and like my brain Automatic. has that pathway. But, but in a small way, being sassy at, you, at him, yeah. right? Well, and yeah, being trying yeah. to be funny. Well, and I yeah. think it. I think it also like it. It is a double speak. It's a yeah. shorthand, right? Like if it's one of those things where like. If you're in a room and a song comes on and a bunch of people start vibing, correct, and they all yeah. know why they're vibing together and they they don't need to talk, yes, right. It's kind of like when someone in a crowd, you know, the the uh, inception of the show essentially is you're hanging around a party yeah. and that one person starts to drop, a, you know, we're going to need a bigger boat, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, where are you? <laughs> yeah. I heard you. Where are you? We need to speak, right? And I so I think when you can be sassy with somebody. And you can shoot a movie quote at yeah. them, right? You're 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 not, you know, like. And it's a good way into uh, with strangers too. Like you're oh. saying at a party, it's a good way into knowing if you have shared experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if if I shared quote something, taste. Yeah, exactly. Are you a man of taste? And so if I if I quote something, and if I respond. do it in passing, yeah. and someone kind of like goes, ah, you know, yeah. whatever that movie is. But they've seen the same thing that you've seen. Yeah, they and, get the same thing you get, and now we're on the same wavelength, right? Exactly. And I'm like, yeah. all right, you or know. They, you have the same kind of humor, yes, right? Exactly. Where you drop a line out there, and everyone looks at you and you're like, oh, this is kind awkward. Never mind. <laughs> Walking away. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, you guys want a good one for that? Absolutely. Okay. If you, just bring your mic up a little bit. Still. Yeah. I apologize profusely. This That's okay. I just I can't I can't fix fade out. There you go. Oh, there's the richness. Perfect. <laughs> like a warm glass of milk. Maybe your He's... mics should fig- figure out how to keep it up. You, hey, listen, are you telling me I need to get some erectile dysfunction medication for my blue arms? <laughs> erectile <laughs> mic, mic function? There's a, there, wait, I got to find it. There's a pun. Welcome there to the Blue Chew Rock Hard Moment of the Show. <laughs> this is where Blue Chew would sponsor us, by the way. We have one. We just never get sponsored. Um, <laughs> no, what I'm going to say is uh, I was a kid. This is when a movie quote can get you in trouble. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This, is, this is when you when you don't know what you're saying <gasps> is something else. I have an example of this. Great. Too. Okay. So, food court, Cologne Place Mall. When I'm like young, Wayne's World. Wayne's World had just come out. Oh no. So, we go up to the Asian food counter, sizzling walk. Cream of some young guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there. Good Lord. My mom orders. No. She goes, "What would you like?" And I go. Wittingly, I'll have the cream of some young guy, please. No. And both the lady at the counter looked at my mother going, what kind of son do you have? And my mom looked at me being like, how did my son learn that? And I'm standing there being like, isn't that number two? Like, why is why are why are you looking at me like? And that was the moment when I quoted Wayne's World that I also learned where the cream of some young guy comes (laughs) from in the food court at Kildonan Place Mall. They have yet to demolish that food court. It still exists. The table is still there. Whenever I walk in that mall and walk by that food court. Revisit your shame. I revisit my shame. (laughs) Every fucking time. I love it. But like, and that's the thing where like I've seen the movie and you haven't. Yeah. Or I didn't know what was in the movie was wrong to say in real life. And then you go and blurt it out. And then the next thing you know, you're you think you're ordering takeout. I was walking down the stairs. My mom said something to me. And this was like and it was just like something. And I was I wanted to acknowledge it. Yes, I'm going to do that. And I was in a kick of watching Space Jam at the <laughs> time. And I go, aye, aye, private porkster. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well, Ooh. he was a pig, so that's why that's he said, said it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she was like, fuck you say to me? And I, I was like, it's from a movie. She's like, oh my God, never say that to anybody else. She didn't say it, fuck. She would have never said it. She still doesn't. But, you know, she was very... Uh, upset with me and i was like oh it's just from a movie like it's what he says to, to the response to, to doing the thing yeah yeah i it's it's like I, it's it's the magic of good writing yeah mm-hmm. right combined with really talented people who know the intonation like you can you, you can really sit on a on a on a on a line 
and I mean it. The frankly, my dear, I just don't, don't give, give a, a damn. damn. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like how many how many memes? How many yeah. how many moments does that line like come up? And if you just said that any other way. Right. Like the line is the line, but it's the delivery of who's giving it to you that that re- frankly, my dear, I just don't give a damn. Yeah. yeah. Frankly, my dear, like you can be <laughs> Captain Kirk. I just don't give a damn. Give up. Right. But frankly, my dear, I just don't give a damn. Like it's it's yeah. knowing. And, and I mean, is that why is it the actor or is it the writing? Is it the chicken or the egg theory? What do you think? I think it's a magic combination. Correct. Yeah. It's like the perfect and like the build up and everything around it that just makes that line for whatever reason stick in your head as as something that you'll bring up over and over again in your life i don't know no yeah. and it Combo. can be as simple as i'm batman <laughs> 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 really <laughs> it can be michael keaton has been trading on yeah i'm batman yeah right i mean bales tried it Affleck's tried it Clooney never should have tried it. <laughs> Kilmer also should have never been Clooney in trying it. Like, yeah. but like Michael Keaton is the reason I'm Batman. Is, yeah, is why I say I'm Batman. <laughs> I say it like that because that that's it. Um, what's okay? Let's let's. What's your favorite Emily? You know, I mm, there's two, and they're so wildly different. Like two yeah. movies that I probably quote more than any other movie. And one is Lion King. Uh, which one? <laughs> uh, there are so many Lion King quotes that you can do. But like, if someone's trying to do something, I say it to my kids all the time. Like, they're in the middle of trying to do something, and they're just like fucking it up so bad. And I'm like, amateurs, lie down before you hurt yourself. <laughs> or just like you got to Or if something bothers them at school or whatever, I'm like, you got to put your behind in, in the, the past. past. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your past in your behind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what and, a wonderful phrase. And then when it's like, uh, or. You know, something is you're confused, and everyone's like going back and forth, and like, what? He's, what? And it's like, who's got a scar? The monkey's his uncle. That's like how I always end those conversations because it's like it's like the who's on first, whatever. But it's like it's who's exactly who's on first. Yeah, the monkey's his uncle. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like universal speak in my family for like this conversation is over because no one knows what they're talking about. And then the other, and that's side... what I can't do. I can't do that. I can't take it off the screen. And <laughs> like I can do a little play with you. Right. Yeah. I can riff with you. Oh no, we just work it into regular I'm always conversation. The, I'm the way homer. I'm the guy who's like driving home after the party and I'm like, fuck, I should have said that. Ah. <laughs> right? On the way home it clicks in. Like I'm never I'm never really quick enough. I do sayings like fill your boots, right? Like yeah. I'll say yeah. stuff like that or I, I think movie quotes for my brain anyway, I, I equate them to like song lyrics. Oh. And so I hear them in a in a in the, in the way that they were yeah. delivered, right? So, like, someone says a song lyric and then you start singing the song in your head. It's the same way someone says a word in just the right way and it, it sets off the chain in my brain of, right. like, the whatever that, like, it's whether it's the intonation or the word or whatever. Hakuna Matata. Exactly. What a wonderful <laughs> phrase. And so it, so it lives in my head rent free, as the millennials like to say. A lot of real estate but, up there. But are you <laughs> quoting more times? Famous quotes, or are you quoting more times your quotes. lines that meant something to you from that meeting? I think it's more me. Like, <laughs> okay, I, yeah, yeah. Those are two different things. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, it totally is. It's in the ether, and then it's what's in Emily's. It's what's in my brain, and so yeah. lots of times people don't. But pick what's up in your brain them. works, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And but lots of the time people don't pick up on them, which is totally fine too, because I think if people did pick up on them every time nobody would talk to me they'd be like just be a normal human and have regular person conversation call you imdb (laughs) yeah but i but i do it all the time but okay so the other the way other side of that spectrum for me the other most quoted movie in my life is uh spinal tap (laughs) (laughs) really yeah hello cleveland (laughs) i just can't help myself like they'll be like someone will be playing the piano and it'll be like a really beautiful song or whatever and i'll walk by and i'll be like this, it's like, that'll be be- that's beautiful what is it and I'll be like I call that lick my love pump <laughs> like, it's just you can't every time I hear a beautiful piano song okay maybe I do do this in, in my real life because I have been known to be like can you turn it up to 11 turn it up to 11, 11. yeah right you know, and then but this one goes to 11. Just as close to, like, right on the heels of Spinal Tap is the Big Lebowski. And then, like, just any time, I'm like, you're out of your element, Donnie. Like, just all the time. Look behind you. Mark it zero, dude. What does it say on the wall? That's my <laughs> yeah, rug, exactly. man. <laughs> the rug, this really ties, sure, the, really ties the room together. I say it all the time. Yeah, something <laughs> that really ties the room together. And that kind of thing mm. is what makes it great. Yeah. Right? It made it in that moment. Did they cut that line? Did they leave that line in? Was it added? Was it ad-libbed? Like, yeah. Mm. There's so 
sure. much around those few words that where's my money Lebowski my is what everybody Lebowski. says when they want to get paid. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> and if you're cool like us, you know what we mean. Or people say like, what's your name? And I'm like, Emily, you can call me M or like Emily Clark. If you're not into the whole brevity thing. <laughs> <laughs> like I would just end it with the dude. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, oh. yeah. I, I... Or anytime a, an Eagles song comes on, I like, hate the fucking Eagles. <laughs> like it's actually Big Lebowski might actually be the top <laughs> one. It seems to be moving up I here. forgot about like I forgot about all the things I say in my. No one fucks w- with the Jesus. Exactly. <laughs> it's like in my whole life I say them a lot. Yeah. We were bowling the other day with the kids and. Lily stepped over the line. It's like market zero, dude. And see, that's the that's the thing. I'll tell you right now. I'll be honest with you. Sitting here, th- when you say a movie, yeah, I go quote roll. Yeah, I, go, I start going Same, there. Right? Exactly. But if you were like, give me a movie quote, I'd be like, this is like what I, this is. Mu- this must be what it feels like when someone asks a comedian to say something funny. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. remember a movie quote. What what Which one do you want in my head? I know, but what? that's because you make the connections. Same right. Yeah. Like, most of mine, I'm not quoting from like the big long list of the quotes that stand out the most. Right. I'm quoting the ones that meant something to me. Yes. Right. Like yeah. so for me, hands bar none. Uh, fuck me sideways with a chainsaw. <laughs> I use that I in almost that. everyday what, life. What from, what, it's from Heather's. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? Now, is that part of you know the top one hundred quotes? Nope. You know, stop making fetch something. That <laughs> apparently is more nuanced with certain age. Great. Because I invented but, a fucking word. Yours is sass, class, and sharp, happen. right? But so for me, there are like to yourself, there are just some quotes that just stood out. Yep. Don't know why, caught my brain, was in the movie that just you know now will become part of my own like lexicon with my friends and all that, and that's great. Because um, when I went through this list in preparation and just going through, yeah, yeah, these are ones that stood out per se. But then again, these are the movies that are in the top 100. So yeah. therefore, their dialogue has meant something in predominantly with that generation. Or this is your deep cut, essentially. Yeah, I'm going to deep cut it. Yeah. yeah. No, I get absolutely. I we did the Adam Sandler episode. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. surprised this didn't happen more. But like, whenever something breaks, I'm like. They were cones. <laughs> right? Yep. And even if the person, like, seven out of ten doctors won't recognize what I'm saying as, like, something that makes sense. Right? But the other three people will be like, those could have been people at her wedding. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. I love when that happens. Now, for me, I find the least quotable movies, although I love them, horror. Like, yeah. Least quotable. Least quotable movies. I don't know why. There's very few quotes that I can ever just pull out of my brain cell from a horror genre, well, right? The call is coming from inside but, the house. Yes. Just a few, <laughs> right? Want to play a game? <laughs> but you're right. There's not as many. I think probably because the focus in those movies is on the... Insides of a human being. Yeah, or yeah. inside your brain as opposed to like outside inside of the human <laughs> The blood that came out. Um, I don't care what you say. I just want to stab you. Like Leatherface isn't known for being a you know a vocal actor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? fair enough. Fre- yeah. Freddie Freddy had his one-liners, but like... Nothing exactly. That's so true. You know, yeah. And Jason didn't say much. Like my either. favorite horror movies, the ones that are like the most viscerally scary, I probably couldn't tell you a single quote from any of them. Like, no, I mean you have The Shining and the Here's but Johnny. Johnny. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, so there's, but I'm thinking that's more because the actor themselves propelled that kind yes. of moment. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily because the writing in well, horror over time you, is. You raise a great point because if you watch the pre work that Nicholson does to get warmed up for Here's yeah. Johnny, he's running around the room. He's getting out of breath. Like yeah. he's he is finding why that line is going to work. Correct. Doesn't probably doesn't know that it's going to be the line. Yeah. From the entire like out of all, and I mean, there's not that many quotable lines in The Shining, but like in the lexicon of of film, here's Johnny. Is all work and no play makes yeah. Jack a doll boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Look right there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I would say that actually, The Shining might be a bit of an exception because cool. it's so it's in his internal. Like he's going crazy from the inside. He's having and, a conversation, and the book is so stream of consciousness that like you're in his head and you you feel him slowly going crazy. And yes. they do a reasonably good job of that in the movie, I think. So that's yeah. probably why it's so quotable because he's got like his internal craziness is like coming out a little bit. I also love I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put a question mark in the teleprompter. I tell you, he reads everything. You know, or like Shake and Bake from from Shake Talladega Nights. Like anything Don't in the. Don't put that juju on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Oh shit. Um, no, but anything like the Farley Brothers. Yeah. 
uh, SNL adjacent, right? Yeah. Like disco pants and haircuts. Look, the new Dodges are in this year from <laughs> from from Blues Brothers. Like, it's it's <laughs> what are you? Five chickens and some bread dry. Oh, is that Jake Elwood? <laughs> you know? Oh my gosh! Oh, Airplane. That's got to be one of the most quotable movies Surely. of all time, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your vector, Victor? <laughs> like, I have a drinking problem. No, and don't call me Shirley. Naked Gun too. Yeah, yes. yeah. Right, like you've not just two, but like thirty-three and third. As 30. well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the the I think there was a time where they were almost like, you know, how you need a toy out of a movie. Yes. They need a line. Yeah. yeah. Right. You need that hit song. You need that like and like that moment would be it. But they know inside that line when they step on it and hit it and they hit it and they hit it right. It yeah. just it works. Yes. I jump, you jump. Oh yeah. Which someone tried to convince me today that Titanic was not a good movie, and I was like, get right Touch out. the hand. Yeah, I'm like, delete, just leave. So, um, as mentioned, we have a list. Okay. I think we're all well and well and proper here. I disagree with a ton of shit on this list, but so do I. As hey. always, I did absolutely no preparation for this episode, so That's I'm good. ready. So number ten on the list is, and I don't know why, because I I, I don't quote this movie. Correct. I, Once upon a time in Hollywood. Great movie, but I can't think of any quotes from it. This is what I was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, don't cry in front of the Mexicans. I don't even remember what. I don't know when I would use that <laughs> or what that quote came from. Like no. I, from in the from the movie. So I'm trying to remember lines in this movie. No. I, I know scenes like when yes. he, when he recalls why uh, he got fired from being a, a a stunt double that day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when he smokes the cigarette with the lace with acid, that was really like, the, right. Know, like, but like DiCaprio doesn't say anything. That like sings out at you, but the no. scene where he's yelling at himself in the trailer, yes. yeah, and he's like, yeah. "You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot!" It's all good acting, but yeah. like, there is not a single quotable thing in here. Somebody is sucking QD's dick, correct? Yeah, I, I, like somebody is is yeah. uh, was owed a favor. Yeah, uh, I have no idea how this got to be number ten. Can or, we quote it? No, no like, I can't. I, I've seen it three or four times, and I can't yeah. quote. I couldn't quote a single thing from it. No, no, no it I, was a great. I really enjoyed it. It was a great I mean, movie. But... Cliff has some great lines, but. Yeah, no. Shrek. Um, Shrek. Oh. I can, okay, Shrek I can see. Number nine. I like that boulder. That is nice. Oh, you're That's like, not very oh, nice. It's just like a donkey. Parfaits. <laughs> Talk about have a parfait, and they're like, hell no, I don't like no parfaits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. I'm that waffles. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 yeah. see, yes. Now that answers it. your question right yeah. there. Yes. We just spoke to each other. Correct. Using nothing but Some their movie Some of you lives. may die, but that is a sacrifice <laughs> I'm willing to make. Yeah, like this is, yeah, this is a good one. Ogres are like onions. They have layers. <laughs> like, <laughs> leave them out in the sun too long, they start spreading, sprouting little white hairs. But like, that's what happens when Mike Myers writes a script. Yeah. Correct. And Eddie Murphy has just, like, I can, now that we're talking Eddie Murphy, I can think of like a thousand Eddie Murphy, Murphy quotes yeah. off the top of my head. Like, he's so funny. Are we quoting Delirious? Are we well, quoting like, I was Raw? Thinking, are we I was quoting... thinking Mushu from Mulan. It's like, dishonor! Dishonor on your whole family! Make a note of this. Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! Hey, like, that ain't no banana in the tailpipe. That's a, yeah, I'm not saying there's no banana in the tailpipe. Or I'd like, make sure we get the right drinks, because if I drink that, I'm going to puke. Like, the fucking oh, Beverly yeah. Hills Cop is one of my favorite movies of all time. Shrek passes the sniff test. Yeah. Passes yes. The quote test. All right. More from Shrek 1, less from the preceding ones after that, per se. I, I know, agree. But, yeah. I agree. but more from Shrek 1. It gets all, and then we get Dragon. Correct. And and, and Dragon kind of mixes things up, and, and, and yeah. it, we get into the deep Fiona family. Like, But the first one is Correct. full of golden hits mm-hmm. all day long. Yeah. Um, all right. The Lord of the Rings. One does not simply walk into Mordor. You shall not oh, yeah. pass. <laughs> what about second breakfast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are taters. In... What's taters? That's just potatoes. Bash them, boil, <laughs> mash them, boil them, put them in a stew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. I can't. Like I mean, Tolkien writing alone is prophetic. It needs to be. It's. It's like if you didn't know it was The Hobbit, you'd be using this. In like a soliloquy or like a, uh, sure. like, a, like, yeah. a like reading someone's funeral, you'd use some of these lines because they're so fun. <laughs> and that's the difference. They're not funny as much as they they're are fun. epic. And fun to, fun to read. Although right. if someone did say, mash and boil and put him in a stew at my funeral, I would be all right with that. That's totally. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do we do with Emily now that she's gone? Do we <laughs> yeah. mash, mash and boil her and put her in a <laughs> stew? Put her in a stew. Yeah. Do we put her in a stew? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say it's incredibly quotable, but I would say that there's some hits. There's some hits. I wouldn't say it's in top 10 either. Yeah. Right? No, like, I don't I'm know. like, I was a little surprised. Like, if you, like, and I love the whole trilogy just got thrown in there. You're going to find. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. All, there's 24 hours of movies here. Exactly. You'll find some quotes. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, I could I could think of uh, Adam Sandler movies just off the top yeah. of my head. Yeah, Happy Gilmore, Correct. Jackass can go up there a lot quicker. Um, what do we got here? Number seven, Mean, mean Girls. Girl. Stop mean, trying to make yes. catch happen. Yeah. I have a white set vagina and a heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, maybe not that, that question. question. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Put that. Put that on the sideline. Uh, yeah, this was. I mean, there. Are, this is a, a purely epic movie. And yes. I just, as a side note, things we watched this week. My kid and her best friend made me watch Mean Girls Two, not the remake of Mean Girls. Okay. Mean Girls Two, which I didn't know was a thing, came out in like 2011 Isn't or just something one like of them that. In it too? No, none no. of them are in it, and oh, it is the worst movie I've ever seen. That if I had been in a theater for that, I would have walked out. All right, why are these plastics so bad? No, they're just it's a just not they're not even bad. It's just stupid. The movie is so terrible. Like the plot makes no sense. Something about NASCAR or I don't know. The line that's so fetch is uh, it's I'm sure it's tattooed on somebody. Oh, oh yeah, oh, so yeah. I'm trying to make fetch happen. happen fetch. Right. Um. It. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. <laughs> yeah. Um, so get in, you're... loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> right? Keep going, Emily. Keep yeah, going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's, so you do think. Do you think you're pretty? <laughs> so you do um... think. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> yeah. I even got scared of fucking, of Gretchen. I was just like. Why? Not for Gretchen, Regina George. Sorry, Regina, my bad, my bad. Yeah. But like when she asks that question, you're like. I thought I was. I'm yeah. 40% sure it's almost raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can tell the weather. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> I use that one all the time. So. Oh, yes. Okay, it was The oh, Room. This See, movie I, is so fucking Oh, weird. hi, Mark. I've, okay, so talk about the punch punch card for your cult classics. I've watched this movie once, and it was for the punch card. I've yeah, no. watched the movie, the actual movie. I've watched The Room, the remake. Yep. Um, I don't know which one's trying to be more meta. Uh, but, like, Wazo, this Wazo is only quotable because he's an idiot trying to act. These are not lines that, like, <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. How, like, like unless, unless you're being funny. Yeah. And your friend's name is Mark, like ours is. <laughs> and he walked in the room. That plays once. That's done. That's yeah. not. That's not reusable, right? I feel Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure has more heft. Oh, in, like, heck yeah, Bill and Ted's Excellent than the, Excellent than the room great. and stuff. I completely like that. agree. So, like, yeah. I don't know once again how this is top ten quotable. Yeah. There is one word in a quote in Bill and Ted, and it's Rufus. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Yeah, be excellent, be excellent to, to each, each other. other. Right? Yeah. Stay shun. Stay shun. Right? All of those are just <laughs> one word. Yes. <laughs> something All something mysterious yes. is afoot at the Circle K. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about, that's what I say when things aren't going to plan. Yeah, absolutely. Something strange is afoot at the Circle K. And then they're like, the what's circle a Circle K? K? And I'm like, we don't share the same cinema. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't okay. know the same You don't know. No, the uh, room has to go. So yeah. crates. I've never called soccer. So crates. So 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 ziggy, piggy, ziggy, piggy. <laughs> yeah. uh, Borat, cultural learnings of American for make benefit glorious nation of Kazakhstan. <laughs> Hell yes. I really? So many people quote this movie. My wife, her sleeve. Like mm-hmm. like wizard, have... long vagina, like wizard sleeve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So many people. Go I to like that. top five. Um, this mm-hmm. is like I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a My millennial. Wife. This is a millennial the, white yeah. guy movie quote. Yeah. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. A straight millennial white guy movie quote. It's this a... one and Anchorman. Those are like the two, like their no, entire. I will say Step Brothers out does Anchorman. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Did we I just learn kung so. fu? <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh, yeah, it's it's every there's been men many men okay, that I, met in my life that this is their whole personality. Sixty percent of the time it works every time. <laughs> it works every time when you make yeah. that statement. I'm okay. With that. <laughs> Sex Panther does outweigh uh, my wife. She dead. High five. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but like say and and see. Okay, here's a question. Saying it like that because that's how it's said because it's a character. Right, is not as funny as. My wife. She dead. High five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have, like you have you almost like a, a, excuse. It, Without saying the worst words, the list of words we all know we shouldn't say. Shit, piss, funk, cuck, cocks like a motherfucker, tits for a turd and twat. Sorry. That's the list. Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, there you yeah. go. That, that, thank you, Richard Carlin. <laughs> exactly. That's a quote, yes. quote from his stand-up. <laughs> um, but, like, you know, I think it's always okay to do the quote unless it's really, A, offensive to yeah. the language. Or, B, to the... the Cultural misgivings, bad names, all that stuff. You gotta, you gotta, you you gotta change it. You gotta leave it out. I'm sorry, you can't. Like, I also, I can't quote. No, nobody should be able to quote Training Day unless you're black. Is what I'm saying, right? Like, that's <laughs> yeah. the point I'm saying. That, that's the line. You're, you're definitely yeah, as the, yeah. things you just don't say. I, yeah. I have a, I don't know, man. Too, I have a hard time now with 
with Sasha Baron Cohen, knowing all the things that I know now that have come out about yeah. him. Yeah. And Isla Fisher's divorcing him. It's a bad week yeah, for, it's a bad for week. Sasha Baron. Like, uh, Rebel Wilson named him as the yes. asshole on set. Yeah. And uh, now Elsa Fisher's divorcing him. I feel he's in his Kevin Spacey era. Where <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how I've he... never gotten good yeah, vibes from him. From, from Kevin, Kevin Spacey? Spacey? No. <laughs> no, why? What did he do wrong? <laughs> Although in some very quotable movies. Yeah, yeah really that cool. is very true. I, you know what? I will agree that it's quotable, but I do agree with you, Tony, it shouldn't be on the list. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I can't remember if what, what another movie is going to come up. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. Got to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Because that's what I say every time one of my friends is jerking off. <laughs> um, I really, one again, of us. One of us. Again, I really like this movie. Tootski? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure that I have ever quoted it. There are a plethora it. of yeah. quotes coming out of it. So. I don't think there is. I, I think there's I ref- good quotes, but there's not. Yeah. yeah. I refer to it yes. often. Like, in. It, it, it was the sides. Yeah. It was or the like, sides. We talk about like you know get whatever like uh, roofies or whatever quaaludes. That's quaaludes, it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just like careful, like Leonardo DiCaprio, your way out of that car or something like that, right? Like, but not <laughs> scenario. Like yeah, I can yeah, see that. we'll yeah. refer to it, but I don't think quoting it is. Yeah, no, I I agree too. Like, it's, okay, um, I still love Step Leo. Brothers, uh, Anchorman, Anchorman. Um, Billy Madison, like I know these are all comedies, yes. and comedies are usually yeah. the ones that we, like I'm not sitting here quoting any given Sunday to Correct. you, right? But like, <laughs> and I think that's like, even we're going to need a bigger boat as funny because it's the first time you see Jaws up close. Yes, and yeah. you're like, oh shit, we are going to need a bigger, bigger boat, boat, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I don't think Wolf of Wall Street's got a plethora. No, like, such a good movie though. The dialogue is great, but yes. that's that's all there is to it. So sorry, no quotes for you. Uh, the dark. Oh my gosh. Sh- okay. Yeah. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Super great quote. Uh, want to see wanna, a magic trick? Want to see me do a magic trick? <laughs> yeah. I gotta make this pencil disappear. <laughs> um, I'm Batman. I but mean, once again, you have a standout, stellar performance. Yes. That's it, selling, right? That's right. Because no one's quoting Christian Bale from this movie. They're all quoting Heath Ledger. Correct. Yeah. Outside of I'm Batman. Want to know how I got these scars? Exactly. Correct. The number of men again, and like this is a, this is another white guy thing. The number of white guy in my life, life experience who have been like, oh, yeah, let me tell yeah. you, let me do the Joker like thing for you. How I'm many like, guys oh, pass want it, like monologue this for acting? I wonder. Uh, like the year after this came they out, they monologue correct. it just in life when they're trying to impress a woman, and it's not impressive. Guys, don't do that. You hear that, guys? <laughs> don't do it. And I'm the nerd, the nerdiest of the nerds. <laughs> See, we're coming up now to number one almost. We are, and Star Wars has just hit. Like, right. And it's Revenge of the Sith, of all the Star Wars movies. I guess I Have the High Ground is I, super quotable. It is. But it's over, Anakin, I Have the High Ground. But I, I, oh, You first. The, like, okay, I thought it smelled bad on the outside. Empire <laughs> Strikes Back, yeah. putting him inside of a Tom Tom, yeah. right? Your Tom Tom will freeze before you reach the second marker. Never tell you in hell. Never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. I don't (laughs) know. Fly casual. Like, (laughs) like, there's, yeah, there are. Do or do not. There is no try. (laughs) Exactly. Fucking. Why are you? Like, don't get me wrong. Revenge of the Sith. Badass. Right. Not as good as Phantom Menace. Not as good as the reveal of the dual saber the first time. But like watching Anakin become Anakin. Correct. Great. You were the chosen one. Like that's about all I can think of from this. Like, we're not quoting Darth Dooku. We're not quoting. Darth Sidious, fucking like it. it no, R two D two has more quotes <laughs> than this movie. Yes, he, he, he famously slayed. Bloop, 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 he does. Bloop. Like it, it's it maybe in the lexicon of yeah. epic Star Wars lines, sure, but no. not in what the pl- not this, in what the ethers. Like. And what I find funny is in the uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, they put all the movies all up them. there. Right? Yeah. we only got one, one of this, one of twelve. <laughs> And like I, this is I from just, five days ago too. Remember, so yes. one of twelve. Yeah, like the the only thing I can think of is like that the high ground quote has really made its way into popular culture and like memes and gifs and stuff. And if sure. Collider so. wants to consider itself a pop Luke, culture, I am your, your father. father. Yeah, which I is mean, that's, not the original. You'll never yeah. find a town full of more scum and villainy. Yeah, so that's carry right. on, carry on. Yeah, these aren't the these droids, aren't you're, the looking droids for. you're looking, looking for. for. Yeah. Exactly. Like even just the hand motion yeah. can be quoted, right? Like, yeah. I mean, sidebar. How many of us walk to an automated <laughs> door and still do this? Yeah, I do. I do, I do, the, I do, the, I do it like Matilda more often than not. I go. <laughs> yeah, no, I do the full. Way. <laughs> like, yeah, wax on, wax off. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. There you go. There's Fuck, another one. another one. Yeah, right? paint the fence. Yep. Like, 
Uh, no, I think Star Wars. Reve- I think if we're going to do Star Wars, it should have the same. Star. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars deserves to be on here. Revenge of the Sith. That is very questionable. Number one. Number one is. See, I knew it. And white guys' entire personalities. And before we talk about like this, Emily saw this coming. Two movies, which I was so surprised was not on this. Which ones? One, Forrest Gump, which <gasps> has a bucket list yes. of quotes, and Order everyone's I was popular. Going, I was rotting. Exactly. Laughs like a box of chocolates. These the are the quintessential quotes. Like fried shrimp, but- <laughs> butterfly shrimp, shrimp sandwich, <laughs> sandwich. Yeah, shrimp kebab. Shrimp toufet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the second movie, which I was surprised by the time we got to this, Princess Bride, which has the <gasps> yes. next bucket of quotes. That's true. Princess Bride is so cool. We're going to get to the big list next year yeah. just to close off the show and throw on some of those that we've Correct. seen on this list. Because this guy's list is stellar. Like, it's yeah. not a list that should be torn apart. But you're right. Like, the... As you will. Yeah. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together, together today. today. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> He's only mostly dead. <laughs> Bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. My name is Diego Montoya. <laughs> you, you killed my father. Prepare, prepare to die. Yeah. Anybody want a peanut? Anybody Take no want more a rhymes. Peanut? I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Although I do wonder if Sean Connery had done that line. <laughs> yeah, would that would have been. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> you keep on saying that word. I do not think it means <laughs> what you, you think, think it means. means. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, oh, yeah. An- Anchorman yeah. is in uh, the lexicon of quotable movies. I, sure. I will say. But I think it's got a bad rep. Once again, white men. You have killed Anchorman for me. I don't want anything to do with this movie anymore. That if I like, I maybe it's just like the kind of people that I was hanging out with when this movie came out. But like, if I never hear another Anchorman quote again, it'll be too soon. It's such a bad picture of Paul Rudd too. I think it's the worst <laughs> picture of Paul Rudd in the history of pictures of Paul Rudd. Yeah, but still has not aged. No, so still very still handsome, but yeah, bad picture. He's as old as he as um, um what's his face Wilford. Um, Wilfred Laurier? Sir Wil- Wilfred Laurier. Laurier. Not Sir Wilfred Laurier. <laughs> quote. When he posed um, for the $5 bill. No, um, what's his face from Cocoon or Awakenings? Oh, um, Wilf. Oh, my God. He was on the, for those of you who remember this, he used to do uh, Quaker Oaks ads. Yes, he used to. <laughs> Wilfred something. Wilfred Brindley. Wilfred Brimley. Oh. Paul oh, Rudd is, is as old as Wilfred Wilfred Brimley, Brimley was in Cocoon. Cocoon. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're, like both in their 50s. Uh, anyways, uh, I I am okay with it because it is it is well known. But I agree with you, Emily. It has been ruined for me too because yeah. I think I think that that is low hanging. F- I'm not saying I, I got to watch what I'm saying here because I don't want to offend somebody who's like this is their this is their movie. But like I already did. It's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but like so you've got like the ones that are great to quote or easy to quote sure. or whatever. This one has been quoted to death. Yeah. This one has been beaten to death. This is like, say hello to my little friend, right? Like, it's <laughs> it's, it's the Scarface shit that, like... Which is actually not their line. <laughs> it's not... It, exactly, right? Like, it's... It, it, so, with this, 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> and, yeah. I love lap! Right, Brick? Did you just stab that person with a trident? Uh, we're going to... She's got, we're going for something called a yog. Loud noises! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? Like, All right. The, the, it's got some funny bits. It does, sure. <laughs> but they're overdone. Yeah. yeah. So, culturally, yes. Historically, yes. But taste-wise, I don't... Uh, so here's um, this is Matt's movie watching. There world. it is, the Princess Bride. Nice. This list was right created at the in, top in 2014. Yeah. So this is the early days of. I just of a little fun fact: tracking. when my mom retired, I threw her a retirement party at the Park Theater. I rented out the whole thing. We screened the Princess Bride, right. and I made little like so. When you came in, you picked you could pick a crown or a six fingered hand <laughs> or um, a mustache, and. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, and and a or like a Dread Pirate Roberts mask, and I put them on sticks. And so, like every time that someone came on That's the awesome. screen, you like held up your stick to like match. Yeah, and that was awesome. Really, that was really fun. That's the kind of party I want to go to. But the Princess Bride, a hundred percent deserves. Yeah. Like that should. Bill take and out Ted's Excellent Adventure, hundred percent. And Ferris Bueller. Bueller. That should oh be on there. Oh my god! Yeah, I recommend Absolutely. it. It's so niche. Or so <laughs> chic. So chic. Forrest Gump, there she yeah, be. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I mean, perfect. Th- and like, Don't as much as I man. get upset about the adaptation of it being stolen from the writer who had the book originally, okay. And, and the, but like, he wrote some good shit because a lot of that stuff is the Pirates cur- of the Caribbean. Wait, but the Curse of the Black Pearl. Oh, that's the original. That's okay. the original. Yes, that one is. Well, I'm Jack Sparrow. This one is excellent. They do but have you some have really heard fun. Of me. 
And he was like, clearly, you've never been to Singapore. We're like, <laughs> there's just, there's, uh, there's just some very, yeah, there's some big ones. Back to the Future. Right. Like, uh, we didn't mention I'm it. I'm your density. But where we're going today, we didn't need roads, right? Like, it's, yes. you know. That's like, true. Very good. It, we, we got there uh, with Emily's brain and the two of us. Like, it, <laughs> like Back very to true. the Future is Marty. Like, it, it just. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Hello, McFly. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. That's one big pile of shit. Yeah, life finds a way. Life finds a way. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Um, um, I actually don't know. Those. Are, uh, well, life this is it. I don't know if it's top ten yeah. Jurassic Park, but I do say life finds a way a lot. Sure. That's so maybe one quote. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm not sure I quote Charlie. There's people and Chocolate that are going to be yelling ever. at us right now. Or like, how do you not know how to quote that? Well, that's <gasps> because it's not in our lexicon. Like Finding that. Nemo. Finding Nemo. That's a great one. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> yeah, I also go, I do the little crab all the time. Like, I go, suivez moi. Follow <laughs> <Hello>, me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Although I don't know if that would be one of the top uh, quotable cartoons. Out of the, out of, I think. Out to- of, like, everything. That we we yeah. came up with, like, a thousand more from Shrek. Cr- like, yeah. I No, I get what he's saying. I mean, like, just, just keep, keep swimming. swimming. Just, just keep, keep swimming. swimming. Yeah. I, right? that, I live yeah. in an anemone. I'm a anemone. Anemone. Oh. I'm a, slow down. You know what? My sister, well, like, one time messaged me. Uh, she, uh, oh, how did it go? She messaged me, like, uh, eh, scuppy. And then and then I messaged her, and I was like, I'm sorry, you'll have to come back later. We're trying to escape. And so, like, we do go, like, back and forth. And there. Yeah. So. Oh, Wallaby Oh, Napoleon way. Dynamite. Llama. Llama. <laughs> you remember Llama when he's trying to feed like, Llama Just out of eat the... your dang quesadilla. <laughs> yeah. It's a liger. I mean, it's, it's quotable. Yeah. But I think it's very niche. Well, Correct. Didn't they have a, like, it, there was a quote with like nun, num checks. It's like, go use my nun checks I've been, or I've something. I've been thurfing them that all day. <laughs> yeah. Just get, take that thing on. For Kip was more breaks. funny than Napoleon, I think. Yeah. The Sandlot. I okay, love so that Shrek movie. is at Shrek's least. on there. Yeah, yeah. Shrek's on, Perfect on there. that's list. Oh. The Emperor's, the Emperor's New Crew. That movie is very funny, but I'm not sure I can quote anything. From, oh, wrong um, what is it when he's like, uh, like squeak, squeaking or squeak, squeaking? Have from, you seen my acorn? From Emperor's New Crew? Squeak, squeaker, squeaking. That's not, my see, acorn. My, it's new Disney for me, so I'm <laughs> yeah. not as well versed. Yeah. Like Once again, I think you have to really be a Disney fan to have pulled that obscure cartoon. You do. Yeah, you I do. Out of, say, and like, like Toy Story. But then he moves... Oh. But then he goes Toy to Wizard Story. of Oz, right? Yes. Yeah. And you're like, there's no Kansas place like home, sure. right? And we're not in Kansas anymore. So he, and he's got Monty Python and the Holy oh, Grail. Oh, hell yes. Right. Perfect. The night you see me, your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fishy oh, Lavash. Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide, Guide to the, the galaxy. galaxy. Yes. The life, the universe, and everything in it. Uh, yep. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, of course. Uh, Aladdin, you Aladdin. are Okay, there you go. You, you did Aladdin. the Aladdin. Got it. But I wonder if Aladdin and Lion King are particularly quotable for us just because we were kids when it he's came out. He's got so a ton. Over and over like, and I don't over think he's updated again. this in a while because Alice in Wonderland, Lilo and Stitch. Mm-hmm. I feel that he's getting into the weeds here with some of the stuff. Oh, Spider-Man, family. not really the that quotable. quotable. The Lion no. King is like my number Super one. Super quotable. Sure. Mulan. Mulan, I already quoted. Kind of. Okay, yeah. Bugs Life. Um, that's a lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's not it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good one. Uh, Mary Bill Poppins is super quotable. Harry Potter for only sure. those who read the books. I mean, you're not getting into stuff that gets into the speak of movie quote language. You're getting into movies that are popular yeah. that may have one or two good lines. Yeah, because it, it, it's interesting. Not one King Kong. Who quotes King Kong by <laughs> Peter Jackson? Most of the movies here are more modern, right? Outside yeah. of The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, you really yeah. don't have a plethora of the more quotable ones the classics. from the classic movies, which is a little bit surprising. Here's here. looking at you. She- at you Casablanco, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, Star Wars, there you go. A New Hope. But they have what? May the Force be with Ghostbusters. you. Ghostbusters. That's fine. UHF? UHF? Hmm. Shauna can quote UHF cold. Really? Her and... Her and... Um, her and uh, Curtis, my brother-in-law, um, <laughs> watched that movie on repeat. Yeah, it was the like one of the five they had. They just know you like it. She showed it to me because I had never seen it before. I don't think I've seen it. Either. Up and, again, a great movie, but I'm not sure d- that Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> okay, so Kung Fu Panda has the like. 
um, life is full of choices. And it's like, uh, it's noodles, not to noodles. <laughs> like that one's like, Independence Day! Indo- <laughs> that, okay. I love that movie. It's one of my favorite movies. But what and, quotes, though? Yes, we will not go quietly into the night. Okay, the big speech. Yes, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. I mean, the Truman Show, good morning, good evening, and good night, good night. right? In case it, yeah. Good evening, in case I don't say, whatever he says, good evening, good, good day, afternoon, and good evening, and, and, and good In case night. I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. That's it, yeah. thank you. That's the only line from the Truman Show that lives in infamy. So maybe when he made this list for benefit yeah. of doubt, he was thinking quotes, not really quotable. Right, sure. just like not quotable, just line, like but famous lines. But I'm feeling lines. Braveheart is ahead of Independence Day because freedom, freedom yeah. is getting out there a lot more than, where are you going? I'm going to pick a fight. <laughs> That's yeah. my island, right? Like yeah. there's yeah. so many little one-liners in Braveheart that Correct. do- Way more work than like the, as if the quote from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is Avada Kedavra. Like that's okay. I don't know. Batman is last on his list, which uh, I mean is neither here nor there. Correct. But like ever dance with the devil in the pale, pale moonlight. Moon uh, ever rub another surgeon man- once said, <laughs> yeah. If you gotta go, go with a smile. Never rub another, another man's, man's rhubarb. <laughs> Want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> right? Like there's yeah. yeah between three people, there's four quotes yeah. that have kicked. I, I so I'm I'm thinking somebody went with what I know as quotes instead of like really made the which is fine because it's kind of what we did too a, except well, for the list yeah there's a competition list where it's like you go on Letterbox and you're like sure. this is the list sure right? and then there's making a list because it, is it more important that that movie had more than one recognizable quote no or is it that they had a quote that is more widely used right this, th- this feels like this list feels like it's more one line that you can very clearly define as being from that movie as opposed to the way we're looking at it which is quotes that make their way into our this list movie. appears that this is a person and his two best friends sitting in their basement and this is the collection of movies that they like to watch the most kind of like yeah. what we're doing right now <laughs> kind of, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> those of us in glass basements shouldn't, shouldn't throw, throw stones <laughs> VC8 VHS tape <laughs> alright I mean I, I dig it Matt I'm down yeah. but I, yeah I think I think you were friendly uh, I'm sure, maybe Matt's gonna listen we'll put your list up in the show notes but uh, uh, I think it's friendly I don't think it's too I don't think focused. it's definitive yeah it's not no. No. great way to great way to put it yeah Although I was, the the top of this list was excellent. Like it was the one Correct. that we said we're missing, exactly. right? Yeah, so. He started off yeah. really strong. He did, yeah, yeah. he did. And, and I, I think you, you get up. lost in the weeds. weeds. Like a 50 yeah. is tough. Correct. I, I, on my Spotify stuff, I've got a, for better highway driving, volumes one through 18. Yes. And they're 20 track lists. That's it. They're, I have 18, 20 track lists that whenever someone's like, going on a road trip, I'm like, here you go. Okay. Making a 50 movie list, not easy. Yeah, because you can get lost. A ten list also not easy because then you got to get condensed. I feel twenty five is kind of the where you can get a little top bit. ten. Just stick uh, yeah. with top ten. Yeah, Matt, stick with the top ten. Tony says so. Exactly. But then we, but then we had nothing but bad things to say about the other top ten. So I think we just can't be. You can't make us happy. There's the odd list that we're like, well, we're just oh, that's a good list. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the list where yeah. it's like, who paid for this list? Correct. And you get that when you get into the publications versus <laughs> versus the private <laughs> listing. Okay, Oh man, listener, thank you so much. That's that that's it. We never know how to end the show. We just go, "Hey, we're done." Um, so if you have been listening and you're like, "Why didn't you mention this one?" or like, "Oh my god, you missed that one." Uh, be nice, leave a voicemail or a comment. We're friendly people here. We'll engage with you. We'd love to put your shit on the show. I know you hear this every time we talk. I know whoever listens to this, and I know some of you, and it would be fun to engage with some of you and put you in the center. Don't even use your real name. Call yourself the dude if you want. Call yourself the dudette. We don't give two fucks. El Duderino if El, you're not into that whole right? brevity thing. <laughs> El Duderino, like whatever you want. But if you've got something to say and you're just you're like a, a little nervous or a little apprehensive or whatever $10 word you want to put in here, forget about it. This is where we'll probably agree with you. We'll shoot the shit around Forget it. about it. And then you'll it's be- Mickey Blue Eyes. Right? Forget the, about it. The name is Bond. James, <laughs> James Bond. Bond. One Damn. ping only, Vershilish. One ping only. <laughs> uh, and we'll put it on the show. So leave a voicemail with your idea or comment. You can ask us a question on our core page, too. It's all in the show notes. Follow the show. Subscribe to the show. Show notes, show notes, show notes. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I've been Michael. I've been Emily. I've been Antonio. See you next week. Kids, watch all the movies. <laughs> Oh,
if you have any problems, dial information. Thank you for calling.